So I got a brand new gaming computer. It can run games significantly better. Skyrim, um, ukulele, that kind of stuff runs really well on it. And I'm really proud of it. And while it's not the best computer for like virtual reality, I think with some upgrades, it'll be able to run it just fine. Well, when I was looking for computers, I also found this thing on Indiegogo called the Smock Z or Smock Z. Don't know how to pronounce it. I'll just call it Smock Z because it sounds better. But it is a handheld gaming PC. So, in case you are wondering, this this steel is literally just a steam machine in the palm of your hands. So this is a photo of it. As you can see, it has uh, the controllers look exactly like a steam machine. It's designed to run steam games, and it has um some pretty good um it has a pretty some um pretty interesting buttons. But this thing is. I, this is one of the best things like I've seen in a while in Indiegogo and I I personally would really like this just because if you go places you may want to bring your Steam games with you that you're gonna want this so uh, what are these specs so going over some of them from the video it claims to have um a, it uses a ton of eight AMD parts the CPU is an is a, is an AMD Merlin Falcon RX 420, 421BD, uh, 12 to 15 watt, and um, it has an iGPU of Radeon R7 at 800 megahertz, and that's um, that is a that's a that is that's a standard gaming PC, and for a, a fan and GPU or iGPU I should say, it um and for uh memory. There is two models. I'll be getting into this later, but it has four gigabyte on the basic model. There is four gigabytes of RAM. However, there is a pro model that has eight gigabytes of RAM. Now I'll get on. To, I'll get into this pro um, this pro model later on, but I think that um, it's quite a big of a step up for the price. So, how much internal storage or memory does it have? Well, the base model has 64 gigabytes of internal memory, which is pretty dank. For the pro version, you have 128 gigabytes of internal memory. And I think that, and, um, oh yeah, I almost forgot to say. It has micro SD card, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, HDMI, five plus hours of battery life, which is actually quite good for a PC like this. And an HD 1080p six inch touchscreen. Just let that sink in. I I this this thing is I didn't even know it. So um, basically, in case you're wondering, other stuff about the um, thing, it claims to have um, blazing fast performance and power efficiency. And I think that this it that like with this kind of stuff, I don't know if it that's true. Five plus hours is pretty good though. Like the Nintendo Switch only has tw two and a half for Zelda, and these are games like Zelda for this. So I guess like the basic would be five plus. I can imagine that it would drop. But now I'm gonna go over the other things that they have. So here are everything that you can buy. So in U.S. dollars, this is all in U.S. dollars. For the Smock Z and charger, you can get. You can get the Smog Z and Charger bundled together for 335 US dollars. I am not kidding. That is the, one of the cheapest, like, like just let this thing in. This is a gaming PC in the palm of your hands that can output to your TV. So it's pretty much a Nintendo Switch. It is pretty much a Nintendo Switch, just for Steam games. So it also has, you can choose from seven different colors of the Smog Z, Midnight Blue, Silver, Radioactive Green, Indigo, Pearl White, Fire Red, or Deep Black. And um, the regular retail price will be higher than this version. I assume what they mean... Um, oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention. Um, it, um, you, you'll have to get these from uh, like the, their, their stores. But in retail, it'll be probably higher. So... That's a bit of a downside. It does ship worldwide. Only 10 people have claimed it, which is, which is really surprising. Um, so for $5, you can get a, tw a $20 discount in, in Smock Z. 
You get a $20 discount in any model of Smock said purchasing it on our online store when we release it to the market. Your, your quadruple your investment. Yeah. So, um, next, what we got. Um, for $20, you can get Z-Pads basic set. Three Z-Pads, D-Pad, four buttons, stick. Kind of, that kind of stuff. $40, Z-Pads full set. Uh, retro pads, controllers. Uh, $50, in ex extra external battery. And this thing has connected in the back of the console. The extra battery is a great option for hardcore gamers. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The battery has 10... Um, 10,000 MEH, sorry, I'm really tired, um, which allows it to, um, like, I'm, I'm reading from the website, so that's why I'm getting pretty tired, which allows it to double Smock Z life, so in case you want even, like, 10 hours or stuff like that on games, you might want to think of picking this up. So, for 535 US dollars on their website, you can get the Smock Z Pro. It comes with the Smock Z Pro and Charger. Smock Z Pro has 8GB RAM, 120GB hard drive disk, and the front camera and 4 gig, 4G connectivity. Choose one of the seven different colors and all the same type of stuff. And there's actually more claims for the Pro version 11. Not that much though. They actually have, I didn't know this, they have another pack for the Smock Z Pro, which is like a Pro Pro version. <laughs> okay. So this thing has small. It is 895 US dollars. Smock Z Pro, 16 gigabyte RAM, 250, 256 uh, gigabyte HDD. Smock Z Pro full upgrade, full upgraded to 16 gigabyte RAM, plus 250, 256 uh, gigabyte internal storage. Uh, additional storage, sorry. And these other things that they come are kind of weird. Uh, they're not like that mandatory. Stuff we get are 900 US dollars. Ah, I'm running out of air. Um, best friends pack SZ Pro times two. So, two Smock Z Pro and Charger. So, you and your best friend get a Smock Z Pro at a crazy price. So, if you and your friend want this, then yeah, you can. Uh, dev kit, it'll be um, $15.95. Um, distributor tier, $7,500. And that's it. So,. Is this worth it? Um, I would think that for the basic model, it's a pretty good deal. You're getting practically a Nintendo Switch console. It's not... I would say that it's more powerful or... it's Yeah, it's definitely more powerful than the Switch. But I think that... Like, th like just think about this. This is a gaming PC. Now, the only reason I'm kind of holding off and getting the 335 model is because I'm I kind of want um, 8 gigabyte RAM just saying but I'm um, still I have a gaming PC so I don't even know if I want to I might get it later on but um yeah so now for the big question when does this thing come out well they estimate that this thing will come out in October of 2017 which is not far away also some additional things you know it um yeah, it's kind of at six. It's over half a million dollars in its raised, six hundred twenty-two thousand seven hundred ninety-eight U.S. dollars total funds raised, one hundred ninety one hundred ninety percent funded on November eighteenth, twenty sixteen. So that's that, 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 that's enough for uh, that what you need. So is this thing worth it? Yeah, I really would recommend this. If you don't have a gaming PC and you're looking into this, and you would like to, uh, and you like to play games, um, a lot, especially on the go, get this. I don't, even if you have to wait, still get this. This, just think about this. You get to play your games and just plug it into the TV by HDMI and just take it with you. It's not, it's like the Nintendo Switch. It's like the Switch, except it's a gaming PC. Other things, uh, Windows, uh, and other things like that, basic stuff. But, um, yeah. So my voice hurts after saying so much stuff. If you want to look at this, I'll have the link to the Indiegogo project in the description below. Um, and tell me what you think of this. And please tell me anything you'd like me to improve my videos. And I'll see you all later. See you.